guys, it's Kendra. Today I have a unboxing, not really unboxing because it's already opened, but I received the press box the other day for the makeup show. So I'm going to be attending the makeup show in LA this year. I'm so excited. It's going to be the 28th and the 29th. I'm going to be there the 28th, I believe. And I actually am going to be filming in there. So they don't allow people to film, but I'm going to be one of their press people. So I'm going to take you guys around with me, show you all the vendors, the booths, the people, the makeup, all of that stuff. So I'm really excited to be able to do that. This stuff in here is products that are new to some of these brands that are going to be launching at the makeup show. And just this is kind of like a little sneak peek of what's going to be there. The makeup show is for people who are in the beauty industry, who work with cosmetics, and it's just a great opportunity to network, to meet a lot of different brands and people, and to also learn a lot. They have demonstrations and just a whole bunch of stuff, and makeup is discounted, so I'm excited to get my shop on. So um, let's open this stuff. I have like looked at it, but I haven't really like taken it out and swatched it and everything, so I'm really excited. So let's get into it. Also, if you guys are going to be there, please let me know. I'd love to meet you. Just let me know in the comments or tweet me or whatever, Facebook. Okay, so first up we have this bag from Beautylish and it's their Bioderma. I have never tried Bioderma. I've heard so many things about it. I feel like so many people use it as their makeup remover, uh, Essie Button, off the top of my head, I know she uses it all the time. So this is uh, makeup removing, I was like, this is not English. Makeup removing solution, it's for sensitive skin, hypoallergenic, paraben free, non-rinse. So I really am wondering how this is. I'm wondering if it's worth the hype. If you guys use Bioderma, let me know. Next up we have these two products from Makeup Forever. They are their step one skin equalizers. So this one is the mattifying primer, which is step one, or they're both step one, which is number one. And then this is their uh, redness correcting primer and it's number five. So let's see what we have in here. So here is what the mattifying one looks like. It's just like a gray matte packaging. And let's see what the product is like. It's kind of like a, just a clear, typical primer, what you would expect. This one is the green. Oh, cute. So they're based on what they are. And this one is the color correcting primer, which I'm excited to use this because I get some redness. Oh, it comes out green. And then when you blend it, it kind of blends to a, it's basically your, it blends into your skin tone, but it does have a little bit of that green tint. And it has a nice fresh, fresh scent. Okay, then we have the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick Trio. So I looked at this actually earlier and it has all of these face shapes for your contour, how to contour your face. Um, if you guys, let me know if you had watched the video by Goss, Goss Makeup Channel. What's it called? I don't know. Goss Makeup Channel, I think it's called. He was talking about how <clears throat> makeup, like Instagram makeup, is becoming just crazy like everybody's just going absolutely insane with all of their contour and winged eyeliner and everything and I've never done like the intense stuff because it just looks really weird and unnatural to me um, but let me know if you watch that because I thought it was really interesting but what I kind of took from it is you know there's all these contour things that are coming out right now but it doesn't mean that you have to intensely contour your face so, so much. It's probably overwhelming with people, you know, posting all these videos with crazy contours and you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't have time for that. I don't do that every day. Maybe every once in a while if I'm going out and I want my makeup to look extra perfected. But for me, it's just kind of like using it here and there just to kind of, you know, chisel out your cheeks or slim your nose, just little things like that. So, okay, so we have the contour, we have the bronze, and we have the highlight. So these look really, really neat. So here is the uh, contour. And then the bronze, it said, it said you could do like your contour and then the bronze to kind of soften it. These are so creamy. I want to draw this so you can just see how creamy this is. That is so nice. And then the highlight, here I'll just draw on the back so you can see. It's like my skin tone color. Can you see it right there? Anyways, these are really creamy, so I'm going to play around with these and kind of let you guys know how I like them. Okay, next we have this. This is really pretty. It's by the company Static Nails, and it's reusable, paintable, and shapeable gel effects. There are 12 nails in here. 
nail glue. Have you guys heard about this? I don't know what this is. We have, oh, they're like nails. We'll see how these go. So it says static nails can be popped off the same day or worn up to two weeks. Lift sides the nails remove when ready reapply for the perfect manicure. And you can paint them with nail polish and you can remove them as well. That is pretty cool. Okay, then these I'm really excited about. So these are new. They're introducing their eye, eye lights and their liquid shimmers by the company Pinnacle Cosmetics. Okay, so here are the three different colors. So there's like a golden, kind of a pinky bronze, and then a silver. I think these are cream. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. They're very lightweight. So here is that. It's just like a metallic. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I'm going to do this silvery one. So I'm wondering if we could use these just as like a base for our eyeshadow. You could probably use those alone too. Let me read. You can do a hint of shimmer under the brow bone, a little bit on the corners of the eyes, or all over as an eyeshadow. These are beautiful. Let me do one more swatch of this rosy color. My hands. Oh, this one might be my favorite. It's just like a really gorgeous rose gold. So pretty. Okay, next up we have this Milky Lips by Ellie Fa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or Ellis Fa's. I don't think that's how you say it. Let's see. Woo! It's like a bullet. So here's what this looks like. And it is a brush tip. I don't know what color this is. So you usually have to turn these up for a while. Oh, oh, it's dark. So this is their classic red lip color. Here's that. Look at that. It's kind of like a blood stained red. Super pretty. Kind of reminds me of Vampire Diaries. Do any of you guys watch Vampire Diaries? I just started watching it because one of my friends is obsessed with it. And she was like, you have to watch it. So I started watching it. I watched a few episodes and then I kind of stopped. And then she's like, no, you need to continue. So I'm on like episode 14 right now, season one. So let me know if you guys are fans. Okay. Now we have this little bag from Sephora. So I'm excited to know that Sephora is going to be there. This is their Sephora collection. They have a trio of colorful blushes. They are mineral and organic pigments. That is pretty cool. And these are supposed to be smoother than before, more intense color payoff and longer wear. So they have moisturizing, moisturizing ingredients. And then there's also a pro precision blush brush. So I know I'm, I, I have like one or two of these Sephora brand brushes and they're really high quality. I really like them because I remember I was kind of on the fence. Dang it, I'm chipping all of my nails right now. I was on the fence about them because they are a little more on the pricey side, um, but they last a really long time. Pro Precision Brush number 73. Look how beautiful that is. It's really soft. That is so nice. I'm wondering how I will like this for blush because I usually use kind of a bigger brush. We'll see. I'll try it though. Okay, so here are the three shades. I'm guessing these are new then. So here's the first one. It's called Shocked. It's just bright fuchsia pink. I mean, look at that color. What? That's so nice. Let me put it on. Blushes are really hard to swatch because they really don't look true when you're swatching them on your hand. Like you have to... Wow, these are like super pigmented. Like it's still on my finger. Okay, the next one we have is called Flirt It Up, which is a... Oh, and that hot pink one is a matte color. This one, look, they both look matte. Here's that one. This is really pretty. This looks pretty wearable. Just a really nice corally color. Here's on my finger. That's really pretty. And then the last one is called Over the Moon, which is a sort of lilac purple. Look at that. So here's that on my finger. It's pretty um, pastel. I'm wondering what this is going to look like on my face. There's that. It's really pretty. I like the peach one the best. Okay, next up we have this little thing from Senna Cosmetics. If you guys remember a while back I did um, a product feature with Senna and it was their, I got their eyeshadows, what else did I get? A lip gloss, lipstick. I love their products. They're really high quality. So uh, let's see what we have in here. Okay, so there is a brow brush. This is their Brow Pro 40 and it has the double sided um, spoolie and then the and then the actual like angled brush. 
I am always, it's so strange, I'm always losing my angled brow brush. Always. Like, it's the one brush I can never find. This is perfect. This is, like, the absolute perfect size that I like. I'm so weird about having just the right tiny angled brush for my brows just to really define the arch. I love these so much. And it's really handy having the spoolie on the other side. And then this is the Eyebrow Coloring Powder and Pomade in Brunette Duo. And they, I believe they have three different shades of these. So one side is the powder and one side is the pomade. That looks really nice. I'm so into brows now. I just love having my brows filled in all the time. My brows are so pale. They, I have eyebrows, but they're just so blonde. So I cannot live without my brow, brow products. Okay, now we have something by Stila. This is our Color Bomb lipstick in the color Sophie. So this was just recently launched. Here's what this looks like. This is beautiful. It's like a silver with rose gold on the bottom. So when you open it, this is all rose gold. And it's just a really nice nude color. Let's put it on the other hand. I'm running out of room. These are so creamy. So it's kind of a more brown nude. It has a little bit of peach undertones. That's right there. But there's just a lot of color payoff and that feels really nice. And it smells minty too. Then we have something else from Smashbox. This is their lipstick. Let's see here. Their Smashbox Cherry Smoke Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Bing. Ooh, this is so pretty. Do I see this? And it's just, oh, this is so nice. Look at that. Let's swatch this too. This looks matte. It's like, uh, I'd call this kind of a satin. That's so nice. Look at that. Okay, we have two more things in here. So we have the Ruby. This is their lip gloss, and it's in this, like, mustard yellow color. So this would be more for people who are doing, like, costume makeup and that sort of thing. So I'm going to swatch it, actually, so I can see um, if it's pretty opaque for those of you who want to know. So it's in a doe foot applicator. My hands are, like, rainbow. Yeah, this is really opaque. There's that yellow swatch right here. There's that. Should I put this on right now? <laughs> And then last we have this Bloom Pouch, which I'm pretty excited about. This would be really good to take if you guys are doing some of these makeup and you want to store either your eyeshadow brushes, your makeup brushes, or, um, oh, cool. So you, so it's like this, it zips up, you put your brushes in here or you can use your, um, like sticks, like eyeliners, lip liners, or whatever, and then you fold this down and it sits up. So you have it right here and it just sits on the table. That's really handy actually. So that is everything that's in this press box. I'm really excited to actually apply these to my skin, see how they work and whatnot. Here's my hands, check that out. <laughs> my last video wasn't empty so you guys missed it. I will put it right here. You can watch that video right now, see the products that I used up. I also just did a video on the benefits of using a Clarisonic brush. So I will put that right here for you guys. You can check that out see the amazing things that I'll do for your skin. And don't forget to subscribe. You can click this box right here. I upload every week, twice a week at least, so you can see all of my new videos. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you soon.